welcome back to my channel this is miss lauren lee 11 and today i'm going to be doing a review on a custard i'm not a fan of a custard um i usually find that they crunch in my hair but today i thought i'm gonna try it curly chic and i've shown you this before in my product review my product stash but what i've noticed is it does get a lot of crunch so i'm gonna be trying it today for you guys just doing a quick review and for my leave-in, I'm going to be using my S-Curl Texturizer Gel. It's not actually a texturizer, but it's for texturized hair. So I'm going to be using my S-Curl Gel as a leave-in because I don't like it as a styler alone. But for a leave-in, it's amazing. It leaves your hair shiny, moisturized, soft. But also, I'm hoping it's going to take away some of the crunch that this custard leaves. And then for my edge control, I'm going to be using this. It says Play and Stay 48 Hours Edge Control Flaxseed and Castor Oil. And it's from Eco Style. So, I'm going to just jump straight into it. I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to do this demo, guys.
Okay guys, so that's one side done. I'm gonna go ahead, do the other side of camera, come back to you once it's fully applied and then once my hair is fully dried and give you my thoughts on the custard, okay? Okay guys, I'm back now. So these are the results after I've applied the custard and I've used the edge control, as you can see. Nice and shiny. Okay, I like the results so far. I really do like the results. My hair doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel I don't know, I just really like the results. Let me quickly show you the back. Okay, so already it feels like my hair's dried and this side feels slightly crunchy, just a little bit crunchy. But that's fine, because as I said, I've got the S-curl gel underneath. I better stop touching my hair before it gets frizzy. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna let you know how long it took to dry. Okay, so let me, before I go on, let me just read what some of it says. Okay, so the smell, it's got a very, very, very strong peachy smell. So if you're not really into fruit flavored <laughs> hair products, this may not be for you. But if you don't mind it so much, and it does, I have used it before, as I said, and it does fade once the hair dries, but it's, you just get a hint of it. So it's not as potent as it is whilst it's wet in the jar. Okay, for the price, I paid five pounds for this, which is not too bad because a little goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot of this, guys, because then it will start to get really tacky. And this is five pounds for 11.5 ounce jar, okay? So, let me read to you what it says. It says, maximum moisture and manageability without sticky, tacky, greasy feel. No sulfates, no parabens, petroleum or mineral oil, infused with coconut oil and aloe vera leaf juice. It says create shiny bouncy curls with our medium hold curly custard. Our custard moisturizes curls with a minimal flaking and shrinkage. Achieve amazing results when used for coiling, twists and freestyles. Freestyles I guess wash and goes. It says directions, apply evenly to wet or damp hair, separate strands with a wide tooth comb, for defined curls, part hair intersections and finger twist or twirl custard into hair. Air or blow dry and stretch and crunch curls. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I don't mind the shrinkage, just my hair's got a bit longer now. Keep it in that protective style, if you may have seen. I'm not too fussed about the shrinkage because I have got a lot of growth. So I, I don't, I like this length, this length's nice. Okay, so I'm not gonna stretch it. I'm gonna let it air dry, as I said, if I did say. <laughs> Oh yes guys, that's what I wanted to say. I didn't apply it to wet hair because what I find with my hair being low porosity, if I apply a product to wet or damp hair, I then have to reapply it once my hair is dried because it starts to freeze. I don't get the full definition. So it's almost like the water is sitting on top of my strands because if you are aware or not aware, sorry, low porosity hair, the shaft is actually closed. So it takes a while for water or moisture to penetrate into the hair. If my hair is wet and I've put in product onto my wet hair, I just feel like it sits on top and it doesn't actually absorb into the strand. I then have to do it once my hair is dry, I then have to reapply the product. So what I tend to do now, guys, is apply products to my damp to nearly mostly dry hair, okay? So if you do have low porosity hair and you are struggling with a curl definition, maybe try that as well, that does help. But if you're not completely uh, comfortable putting products onto your dry hair, maybe just spritz it a bit. I don't spritz it with water, I spritz with my glycerin and rose water mix and then I'll apply the product. But I don't do it, as I said, on damp, damp hair. It has to be, just be lightly misted, let's say. Okay, so let's quickly go on to the product ingredients. So it's got water, glycerin, which I'm happy about. Got some gum in there, some coconut oil, aloe vera leaf juice, shea butter. But as I said, the first two ingredients are water and glycerin, so they have a high amount of those. All right, guys. All right, guys, so let me say, oh, my hair is drying nicely. So yes, it's starting to dry now. Um, I've started the clock to do the countdown and I'll come back to you once my hair is completely dry. As I said, I'm gonna let it air dry and that's it. All right guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so this is my hair at the minute. It's, I'd say 50% dry, but this kind of gives you an overall view of what the hair's gonna look like once it's dried. Now, I've got a lot of shrinkage. As you can see when I stretch it, it kind of stays a little bit elongated. Um, got, a, got a slight crunch to it, which is fine. It says it's meant to be non-flaking. Smells nice, does smell actually really nice. But uh, I do feel like I need to stretch my hair. This, it's really, <laughs> really makes my hair really springy and I don't know if I like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go and 
diffuse the rest of my hair. It's, you, it's mainly around here that is actually quite damp. So I'm going to go and diffuse it and stretch it and then I'll come back to you once that's done. Okay people, these are the end results. If you can see my hair looks nice and full and thick. I've just stretched it slightly at the roots. Diffused um, some of it because it was mostly it was mostly dry anyway, about 50% dry. As you can see, it's got a nice shine. Has got some crunch. Does feel doesn't feel super soft, but I'm sure that will fade out um, on upcoming days. I don't get this kind of volume with an eco styler gel, let's say, or a normal gel. With a custard, I suppose this is quite a good result because I've got definition, definitely, and I have volume. Okay, so usually with an eco styler gel, I'll get definition, but I definitely won't get this type of volume. But my hair feels quite thick. And my hair's not exactly thick, my hair is quite fine, but with this custard and diffusing it, it looks quite full, as you can see. <laughs> so let me just show you the back. And there you go, guys. Got nice movement, nice volume, nice curls. So yes, guys, I would definitely recommend this curly chic curling custard. I'm not usually a fan of custard, but this is actually quite um, exceeding my expectations. So I do recommend this one if you do want to go out and try it. It's not that bad. It's five pounds uh, in the UK, as I said, but well, around that mark. Okay, I guess it's different prices in different shops, but a little does go a long way. Has a nice smell. So now my hair's dry. I could just get a hint of that peachy smell. It's not like overwhelming. So yes, guys, that is it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. All right, guys.